Now, I am going to dictate a legal passage at a rate of 160 words per minute. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, start. Let's start. I have heard learned counsel support the petitioner as well as respondents and have gone through the evidence lead on behalf of the parties including the NACT case number 406 of 2021 within the kitty FIR number 210 of 2021 Vipin versus Vijendra Singh and whether the petitioner Sri Vipin son of Sri Norris suffered injuries in road traffic accident on 05 2021 at 8 p.m. at Bhagavan Mohavir Market towards the Helipad Pal Colony Kart Rithala village Delhi due to Rest and negligent driving of a pending vehicle bearing registration number DL 1PC 4458, which was being driven by driver Sri Vijendra Singh, son of Sri Hawa Singh, on the said daytime and place pair. It is well settled that the procedure followed to court proceedings conducted by an accident tribunal is similar to that followed by a civil court, and in civil matters, the facts are required to be established by preponderance of probabilities only and not by strict rules of evidence or beyond reasonable doubt as are required in a criminal prosecution. The burden of proof in a civil case is never as heavy as that is required in a criminal case but in a claim petition under the Motor Vehicles Act thus the burden is in fact even lesser than that in a civil case pair. Reference in this regard can be made to the propositions of law laid down by the Honorable Supreme Court in the case of Pimola Devi and others versus Himachal Road Transport Corporation and others reported in within back 2009 13 AC 530 which were re Iterated in the subsequent judgment in the case of Parmeshwar vs. Amir Chand and others 2011 within bracket 1 ACR 1096 within bracket civil appeal number 1082 of 2011 and also recently in another case Mongolaram vs. Oriental Insurance Company Limited and others 2018 law shoot within bracket AC 303 pair. As already discussed above, the petitioner examined himself as a PW1 in order to prove the facts regarding the occurrence of an accident. PW1 has clearly and categorically stated that at the relevant date, time and place the offending vehicle being driven at a high speed and in a rash and negligent manner by R1 hit his motorcycle due to which he fell down due to the impact and the, and he sustained grievous injuries spare. PW1 was cross examined at length on behalf of insurance company. PW1 has disclaimed the suggestions of respondents suggesting the occurrence of accident due to his rash and negligent driving. None of the respondents could bring any material on record which was inconsistent with the version of the petitioner. There is nothing on the record which suggests that oral testimony of PW1 would not be believed. As such, this tribunal finds it appropriate to hold that the oral testimony of PW1 is reliable and trustworthy. The very fact that R1 has already been charged for the offenses punishable under sections 279 of the 338 IPC in the above criminal case of the FIR in itself is a strong circumstance. To support the above Oral testimony of PW1 and the case of petitioner on this issue. The copies of the FIR charge sheet and MLC also corroborate the oral testimony of PW1. Stop. Thank you. Joy Hind. Joy Medabharu.